Welcome back YouTube. On this episode we are doing front lower control arms on this Ford Focus ST. It's going to be the same for all the years of the Ford Focus ST so doesn't matter what year it is Focus ST this video is for you. <laughs> Step one, jack up the car and take the wheels off. You're gonna need an 18 millimeter socket and a T55 Torx bit. And you're gonna take that nut and the bolt off all the way. This part might look a little different because I have this subframe brace, but it's the same here, 18 millimeter bolt. If you don't have this brace, it's just gonna be another one of the same thing here. 18 millimeter bolt and then there's a 21 millimeter nut on top that you need to make sure you can hold otherwise it'll just spin so remove these two 18 millimeter bolts and both of the 21 millimeter nuts on top again mine looks different because I have this brace but it's an 18 millimeter bolt it just goes through and it's threaded into there I'm sure yours is going to be stuck in just like mine. I have one little pry bar jammed in the groove there. Hit it in with a hammer. That helps split the metal. Then I jam this long pry bar in between the knuckle and the control arm. And then I'm going to pull on this guy and smash the shit out of this with this hammer here. And then it'll slowly come out. If you're lucky and it slides out, good for you. Once the ball joint's loose and you can just wiggle it, take out the bolt here, take out the two bolts there, and now I'm gonna use a pry bar, pry it out of the knuckle, and then these pieces, it'll just slide. Once you pull this down, it'll just slide out from the subframe. I'm showing you this so you can see how it goes. You pull it down and then you pull, put a pry bar in here, pull this guy out, and now this is really loose. And now that guy is coming off, so you're just gonna keep rotating it this way, and then give it a tug, and now it's out. Here's the part number for the driver's side. Here's the part number for the passenger side. I'm putting in the new one, you're gonna start it the same way you took the other one out. When you're doing this, you have the sway bar mount that's gonna get in your way. So you need to use a tiny pry bar like this or something like that to, while you're jamming this in here, pry up that sway bar mount and then push in the control arm underneath the bushing in the mount. I use a jack to support this guy a little bit so it doesn't fall out of that groove. Then I bent the, I pulled down on it and rotated it over. So now I'm just gonna take a rubber mallet. I'm gonna pop it that way so I can get this bushing inside of here. Use a drill with a sandpaper roll thing and you're gonna clean out the hole that the ball joint goes in because mine's got all kinds of nasty, rusty, garbage in it. Use a drill or any kind of wire wheel. Clean up the rust from the bolt. You don't want the rust to hurry up and transfer as fast as possible to the new ball joint. So just clean up the stuff as good as you can to get ready to put it back together. Put the bolt and the nut through where the ball joint is and you can go ahead and tighten that guy all the way down. Give it a good oomph. When it comes to reassembling this front bolt and these back two bolts, you're gonna do the one which is easiest. So right now, this all seemed like it lined up good. That one's all twisted. So I'm gonna start with the back. I'm gonna put the bolt through, make sure it go th goes through up in here. Uh, make sure it also goes through the sway bar mount 
and then you're gonna put the nut on it, put it by hand, then do this other side. For this scenario, to get the holes to line up, yeah, I had to jack up the control arm, and then I'm gonna have to pull it in a little bit. That's pretty dang good. I'm gonna grab the bolt, stuff it in, and you don't tighten this down all the way yet. This is the only one that you don't tighten all the way down, right? As soon as you get it in. Now you jack up the control arm at the ball joint until you see the rest of the car start to move. And then you tighten this, torque this baby all the way down. Because what happens is if you torque it down when it's all the way down, it binds up this bushing here. So you have to jack this all the way up, then torque that guy down. Double check everything's tight and you're all done. You can put the tire back on, put the car back on the ground, and you have a new lower control arm. Not too hard, just make sure you have maybe two different jacks if you're doing this on the floor, um, and you should be fine. Hopefully this video helped you out, and more than likely you should probably get an alignment after this. Um, I use Firestone because they have lifetime alignments for like 200 bucks. I've already had, this will be like number 14 alignments for the same 200 bucks I never paid again. So yeah, hopefully this saved you a bunch of money. Like, share, subscribe, check me out on Patreon if you want. Till next time, wrench on.